Hello guys. So in the last video, I was showing how to use Kilo code. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to use Open Router to use free models available in the market. So if you have not seen the previous video, you can go to that video to know how to install Kilo code, use free models available on the Kilo code itself. In this video, I am going to show Open Router. So for that, use your browser and open this URL openrouter.ai so it will take you to the home page click on sign in button and then click on sign up if you don't have any account so i'm going to sign up now so i will click here and will enter my email id so once you enter your credential click on i agree and click on continue okay now it has sent one email to verify the email id so here you can see i have received one email so i will click on sign up to open router and it is signing me up now i will go here and click on keys so i need to generate an api key here so let's generate one we'll just enter a name so i will enter kilo code you can use any name here and then then you can put any limit you want and there are advanced settings as well so you can do it if you want but for this video i don't require so i will just put my name and click on create so it will generate you one api key here you have to just copy it because it won't be shown next time so you have to keep it in your safe place so i have copied it now i will go to vs code click on settings then in api provider just click on this one and select open router okay now you can enter your api key here so i will just paste it done now you have to select the model so the next question will be how do you know which is the free model and you want to select here so for that you have to go back to again open router click on models so once you go to models click on sort and click on pricing low to high so once you do the low to high you will get all the free models present here so how to identify that so you can see it's a it's costing zero for one million input token and output token the same way there are many models available for free of cost now you have to identify which model you want to use for your coding requirement so as of today we have two big model which is having two million context okay so we will use any one of them so let's use sonoma dusk alpha okay but you have to be careful that whatever models you are going to use they are giving you free of cost it means they are taking something from you so what they are taking they are taking all your data so as you can see here in a warning all prompts and completions for this model are locked by the provider and may be used to improve the model so they are taking your data for their training so you have to be very careful okay so now let's use this one so what i am going to do i will copy this one we'll go to vs code again and search for this model so it's done now you can see it is having 2 million of context and 400000 maximum output context okay now click on save click on done and this is done okay now let's create another app so let's give little complex requirement okay so let's see create a ludo game web page please make sure to keep it interactive and adaptive okay i'm just giving a simple prompt let's see if it is able to build it or not so here also you can see it has first understood the requirement the task is to create an interactive and adaptive ludo game web page okay and it is also saying that there was one index.html was already present right so it is saying that i will overwrite to complete with full ludo game okay now it will also create some checkpoints checkpoints means where it has started changing okay it means that if you want to roll back your code you can use this checkpoint to roll back and also you can compare the code like what was the previous code and what is current code so now you see it's working let's see how much time it takes 
so it is saying now it is done let's see if it is done or not so i will go back to my folder and again click on index so this is what it has built it's not even looking good or i don't know what it has prepared okay so let's give a simple task then because it didn't work for complex tasks right so let's now give again the same thing calculator again same simple command let's see okay it's done let's go to browser and refresh the page so see it is able to create a calculator app so it's more attractive than our previous calculator app it means it is able to do the simple task but it is not able to build your complex app so now you know how to use open router how to use it in your vs code and how to make your life easier by using these free models let me know if you have any question in the comment section and i will be happy to help you thank you